blood glucose test. Please apply blood onto the test strip. Your blood glucose reading is below 20 mg per deciliter. So here's the question we're after. How does the lactase pill let me, a lactose intolerant person, eat ice cream? Well, here's the reaction we have going on. We've got this disaccharide lactose being broken down into glucose, we know about that, and galactose, another similar sugar. And it's the lactase enzyme that's doing that reaction. And here's that complex protein right here, lactase. So Enzymes speed up chemical reactions, and lactase is the enzyme speeding up this reaction, breaking down lactose. We also know that some people love to eat ice cream, but ice cream doesn't love them. Um, in other words, it makes them feel sick. Now, what should happen is that lactose, the sugar made of two parts, we see the green and the yellow, should travel through your digestive system, and lactase should bind on to that and break it down into glucose and galactose. So here we see the blue lactase binding on to that disaccharide and breaking it down. That's what should happen if you're digesting lactose. But the alternative is that lactose, you eat it, it goes through your digestive system, 
But look, we have no lactase, that blue molecule shown here. And instead, we've got some bacteria and water that are going to cause the lactose to ferment. Now that's going to make all kinds of gas and acids um, and lead to the symptoms that we associate with lactose intolerance. But there's a solution, lactase, right? And a lot of research has been done because people want to eat ice cream, shocker. Um, so scientists have done a lot of work to find a way to get lactase, the enzyme, into a pill that you can take. And if this person is lactose intolerant, they can add lactase into their digestive system and break that down and avoid these awful symptoms. Now in our experiment, here were our results. Remember our substrate was the thing that we had in our beaker, and in one beaker we had lactose, that was actually beaker two, and in the first beaker we had sucrose or table sugar just dissolved in water. Now over time, here's what happened to the amount of glucose in the beaker of milk. We started off at an undetectable level and it accumulated to 135 milligrams per deciliter. Now in our sugar solution, it never really accumulated. The glucose number never went up. So if those are our results, then let's think, if the lactase enzyme works, if we're digesting lactose, Lactose should go down and glucose should go up. So did the lactase enzyme in the pill we added work? Did this reaction happen?